Hi, my name is Ash Taylor. I'm a first year undergraduate student uh, and I'm studying Acadian. At A-level I did history, chemistry, maths and further maths. I'm Josh. I'm a second year undergraduate studying Egyptology and Assyriology. Hi, my name's Ishba Russell and I'm a first year undergraduate and I study Acadian. For A-level, I studied maths, biology, history and a year of chemistry. It's just, I just think it's so cool that we can learn a language that people spoke for thousands of years, thousands of years ago, and that we can actually learn to read that and read things that people were writing so long ago in the past. Uh, in year six, we had to do a project on what we thought the oldest city in the world was. I did mine on Eridu. Everyone else did theirs on Mahenjo-Daro. Eridu is a city in Mesopotamia. Um, I was told that I was wrong. Uh, and out of spite, I went out of my way to learn as much about uh, that area of the world as possible afterwards. I was expecting to go on and study maths at university. Um, but in the end, I basically realised that I was spending a lot of my time reading around the areas of Assyriology and Egyptology. And I ended up deciding that if there was something that I was interested in reading about from a casual point of view, that maybe it would actually be worth worth my while making it a full-time study. I came to Mesopotamian studies just because I wanted to to understand how people of ancient Mesopotamia thought. I had always envisaged myself doing classical archaeology and then I found out about Assyria and I just thought I have to do this, this is what really interests me. Um, I, I always knew I wanted to study um, the past in some way but I never really I never really knew much about Mesopotamia. I I knew they existed, I knew about the Babylonians and the Assyrians from the Bible, from going to church, um, but that was really it. And then I remember going to the British Museum once and seeing these amazing reliefs on the walls and these incredible inscriptions that I had no idea what they said. And I just, I wanted to know more, I wanted to be able to read those inscriptions. Because Assyriology has so many different aspects, universities can vary in how they teach it, with different emphases. For instance, some might concentrate on language, others history, others archaeology, and some might allow you to combine all of them. So the course I'm doing is a nice mixture of both language and study of the cultures as well. Uh, so I've been learning Akkadian, which has been really great. I'm in my second year of doing that now, and that's definitely been the highlight of the course so far. I've found it really fascinating to see just how much poetry and literature and epic work that actually is from from this civilization, and it's just, I didn't really appreciate it before. Um, there are a variety of different approaches used in the subject. There's a lot of room for kind of anthropological methods, as well as religious studies, literature studies, history, archaeology. Um, it's, it gives you a really, really broad humanistic education. The cornerstone of Assyriology is the study of the Babylonian, Assyrian and Sumerian languages, which were written in the cuneiform script. We're very lucky that the cuneiform script includes vowels, so that we have quite a good idea of how these ancient words were pronounced. Anabelika, taktaktilani kiam kibashu, ashu ishtet pilte shatemidani, ishtet aribakuma. I'm really enjoying studying Akkadian because it's, um, it's a very logical problem solving thing to do. It's a sit down and you try and work out all the different meanings that a possible sentence could have. I personally enjoyed studying Akkadian. I, I think it's like doing math but better because <laughs> <laughs> I do. At the moment that the absolute best thing is just the satisfaction you feel when you translate a sentence. When you can look at a sentence written in a language that no one has, that, that was written thousands of years ago and you can actually work out what it says. It's just the most amazing feeling in the world. Uh, what is great about uh, cuneiform writing is that it seems to fascinate absolutely everyone. Cuneiform scared me when I first saw it. Um, it's not the most recognisable script in the world and but now I've got to the point where I can read some some things um, like off actual tablets, which is quite exciting because it's just really cool to hold this like 4,000 year old piece of clay and then just read it. And uh, one of the greatest moments in the, in the year here is that is when we 
take the uh, the students to the British Museum because when they arrive at the British Museum that they, they can see that they can uh, read the inscriptions the new Assyrian inscriptions on the walls some bits of it actually uh, at least and uh, it is very nice to see the sparkling on the eyes on the eyes of the students when they realize that they actually can do something that very few people uh, in the in the world can do the British Museum is great you just go around and, ah, yes, these are my set texts. In theory, I can read this. And actually, the East India House inscription is very nice to read. I went to a department outreach event that was at, um, it was partially at the British Museum and it was like an Egypt and Mesopotamia conference and I just found it absolutely fascinating.